Good morning, everybody. This is Coach B. Welcome to December. We are in the last month of the year of 2020. And as everybody will say, what a year it has been. But I tell you, even in the midst of all of this, uh, I was in my prayer time this morning with the Lord. I'm trying to start discipline. I'm trying to get better at, at doing some stuff, you know, because I'm working on a lot of stuff right now. So I know I may, you know, post some things sometimes and it seemed like, no, nah, I'm preaching to myself too. I, I, that's how it popped in my head because we all are moving forward in growth and development, um, hopefully closer to your purpose. But uh, I was talking to the Lord and he said to, um, let's see. Of course, so what, you see, what, let me tell you something. Whenever you get ready to start doing something that is bettering yourself, like whether it be eating right or working out, you always gonna have opposition. When I started, I said, you know what, today I'm getting ready to start in practice, start doing my daily videos, weekly videos, whatever the case may be. They shovel the snow. It ain't really that, that much snow out there, but I've been in my office for two hours and it's been silent soon as I decide to sit in front of the camera and get to recording, I'm like, really? Really? Computers start having a little air fan going on, and I'm like, okay. And either I could have stopped or just kept going. Whatever you're going to get out of this, you are. I ain't going to keep you, though, long this morning. So anyway, in talking with the Lord and thinking about everything that personally I've been going through, uh, my family, friends, uh, he said, remind them of their goodness. So the Holy Spirit was like, remind them of their goodness, of my goodness today. Not our goodness. We ain't good without God. But remind them of my goodness. So that's why it's remembering God's goodness today. So the scriptures that um, are scripture with the couple verses that I wanted to read was Psalm 27, 13 through 14. Now, I'm going to read 13 first. 13 says, I had fainted unless... I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So this is David talking, you know, he, his enemies were rising up against him. He had false witnesses. Um, so there, if you read through the Psalms, man, it's just, there's times when he just thinks on God's goodness, like, Lord, you are so amazing and so great. And the Lord wants to remind you today that, you know, even though there are so many terrible things happening in this in this earth, in this world, violence and death and sickness. And, you know, there's so many things coming against humanity right now. Don't forget that God is still on the throne. He is still good. He is still working. He still created everything. He's still running it. You know, and, and if you are redeemed, born again believer, we have comfort and peace in that. But we have to seek that peace. Um, so with this, David is saying, you know what? And wait a minute, did I even finish this? To see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, the land that we're living in. You know, he would have fainted. He like, dude, I would have fainted if I hadn't believed. I think the key word in this, he said, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. So he believed that there was still goodness in the midst of the bad stuff that was going on. So just be reminded of that. Now, the next verse, which I wasn't going to read until the Lord showed it to me. Now, we don't faint if we don't believe that God is good to get us through the stuff in the land of the living. But the next one is key. Verse 14 of Psalm 27. Wait on the Lord. Wait. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Is there something you've been praying about for a while? Something that you've been believing God's goodness for? It says right here to be of good courage, to just continue to wait on him. And that's where it gets uncomfortable because waiting requires patience and patience is long suffering now in james 1 i've talked on this before one of my favorite scriptures it says that faith worketh patience so as god wants to build our faith because it is impossible to please him without it we have to be patient and that is something that i am in right now something that i believe for and pray probably like three years ago for real and in the past three weeks has been intense because i'm like I'm not moving. Lord, Lord, 
I ain't moving. I'm going to wait on you. And it's in this part where it seems uncomfortable because it's like, what is going to happen? Maybe I should go ahead and fix this myself. Maybe I should go ahead. But what if you don't know what's going to happen? God says to be of good courage. You have to believe as David believed that he is good. Otherwise, you're going to faint out here. If you don't have that mustard seed of faith to believe God is good and he's still working in your circumstance, whether you see it or not, we can't go by what we see. If I went by what I see right now in my life, I'd be like, Lord, oh, I, I think like I can't I can't do it. Like looking out the window, seeing what's going on, like looking at looking at my bank account, looking at this and that. I mean, I would faint. I think we all would. Right. But we have to remember God's goodness. So today on December 1st, whatever you are going through, the Lord wants to encourage your heart and to remind you that he is good and he is listening. Now, if you got some stuff that you need to take care of in your heart, some unforgiveness, some things that could hinder something, I would I would ask him to show them to you. So that way you can get over this hump. You can get to that next level because there are some things that could keep us from this next blessing. Patience is 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 a virtue, obviously. People say that, but faith work is patience. So if you're going to have faith and you say, I'm standing, I'm not moving, you must be patient. So be encouraged today. December 1st, whoop, whoop, are we ready to grow together? Me and you, Coach B and you, we're going to grow together. We're going to overcome some stuff. We're going to heal. We're going to have better attitudes. We're going to not be angry so quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, hey, we starting this journey. We are. Be with me. Stay with me. We're going to keep it moving in the name of Jesus. All right? Have a blessed day. Stay in faith and keep your armor on from your head to your toes. Coach B. Have a great day.